successful show. Secrets kill you. Secrets kill people like me. He said that he struggled with alcohol addiction at the very beginning of filming. And while it was manageable back then, I made a rule that I would never drink or take anything at work. So I would never do that, but I would show up blindly hungover. It eventually grew into further struggles with alcohol, and eventually he began struggling with opioid addiction as well, to the point where he said he was taking up to 50 Vicodin each day. 55 Vicodin a day, which is where I was. And I always noticed throughout the seasons that his weight seemed to fluctuate throughout different seasons, and I never knew to attribute that to the struggles that he was having with alcohol and with painkillers. I swear to God, I think if I'd never taken it, none of the next three decades would have gone the way they did. Who knows? But when I woke up, 40 more pills had been delivered to my house. There was a period of three years at one point where he said that he doesn't even remember going in to film any of those seasons, that he was just so drugged up the whole time. Even during the all-time highs of the show, he said that he struggled with extreme anxiety, especially in his portrayal of Chandler before a live studio audience, that if a joke didn't land or he, if he felt that he wasn't funny enough, if he didn't make them laugh, that that was a life or death kind of feeling for him. And as we reflect back on the character of Chandler too, it's going to be hard to watch those episodes back and realize that maybe the portrayal of Chandler who was addicted to nicotine and struggled to quit it multiple times, as well as struggling with anxiety about himself, maybe hits a little too close to home. Maybe the portrayal was too close to real life. Eventually, he did share that he had spent almost $9 million trying to get clean through decades of therapy, multiple stints in and out of rehab, emergency surgeries, all of that. 6,000 AA meetings, therapy 30 years, 15 rehabs, yeah. maybe at least. Half of your life in treatment or in sober living houses? He said that at one point while they were filming Chandler and Monica's wedding that he even had to be transported to the set from rehab. He did share that he had two near-death experiences as a result of painkilling medications. They ran me into um, the emergency trauma room and it was in there that my colon exploded. Well, I was put on an ECMO machine. And an ECMO machine, when you talk to any doctor, is a Hail Mary. It is the last thing that you do before people... Or success. Your disease is just outside, just doing one-arm push-ups, just waiting, just waiting for you. Waiting to get you alone. Because alone, you lose to the disease. It's the time I should have been the toast of the town. I was in a dark room meeting with nothing but drug dealers and completely alone. I think as we look back on Perry's career and on his life, it's a fair question to ask. Could he be more missed?